Thomas here of Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today we are building something a, a bit unique, a unique weapon at least. Um, while I'm building props, typically I watch some random shows and I've worked my way through a lot of the sci-fi stuff that way. And I recently started watching Grimm, which is based off of the Grimm Brothers fairy tales and they talk about different characters and different creatures within that particular realm uh, known as Vesson which are creatures and one of the creatures in the story is a Jaeger bar Hi, and I thought that it looked pretty cool and there was a particular weapon used by the Jaeger bar in ceremonies that resembled like a bear claw made out of wood. Um, they showed it in the first season and I believe later on in the series, which I haven't got to yet, but beside the point. I am going to attempt to build a Jaeger Bar ceremonial dagger from the show Grimm. Let's get to building. I drew a rough template as a starting point just to give me the basic shape. Trace the pattern onto material. I am using some 48 millimeter EVA foam that I got from TNT Cosplay Supply Online. You can buy from wherever you buy ridiculously thick foam from. Cut out just outside the line using a long blade like a box cutter. So I removed a little bit of the material by carving off the edges. Then using a low grit sanding drum on my Dremel, I sand away slowly at the claw, looking at my reference image frequently to get it into the shape I want. Make sure you wear a respirator while doing this and work in a well ventilated area. You don't want to breathe in these particles. Not good for the old lungs. For the head, I stepped up a couple of layers of foam and had to add another to the back of his head to finish shaping it, blend it into the contours of the handle, and begin carving out the face. I had two decent images, a profile view and a front view, to get it relatively close to what it looks like on the show.
You may notice that the surface of the build is now smooth. After using the sanding drum, I went back over the whole thing again with a stone bit. This gets rid of the texture that the sanding bit leaves behind. You will see me do this in the claw here in a second. Instead of using contact cement here, I went for the quicker route and just super glued the claws into place. You could make them out of styrene or thermoplastic or whatever. You could even carve the whole thing out of wood if you wanted to. I just chose foam because it's quick, it's relatively easy, and figured I might as well make the whole thing out of foam. To give the appearance of old wood that has begun to split, I used a wood burner with a pointed tip and carved out some deep grooves into the foam. You could also do the same thing using a X-Acto knife or a hobby blade or a box cutter, whatever you want to call it, and then heating it with a heat gun. I used the wood burner because I wanted to add some more detail to the bare face pommel. I aggressively jammed a wire up the nose of the bear to give me a place to hang it from while I hit it with two coats of Plasti Dip. To paint it like wood, I used a dry brushing technique. Load the end of your brush with paint, then wipe most of it off on a paper towel. Then you simply drag the brush across, hitting all the high points on your prop. I started with the darkest brown and worked my way up in color. Each additional layer, I applied less pressure and hit smaller areas. If you mess up, you can always just go back over an area with dark paint and start again.
For the wrap, I just used a strip from an old white t-shirt. I loaded the cloth up with some more of the brown paint and splotches of various shades, and then wet it to saturate the cloth. This gave all the brown mixtures and unevenness to them and made it look like it was aged. I then used my heat gun to dry it quickly, careful not to catch the cloth on fire, then simply hot glue it down to the body of the prop. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, I think it turned out pretty cool. Definitely one of the more unique props, weapons that I have made throughout the 200 or so videos that I've got posted so far. Um, I think it's pretty cool. It definitely helped me to practice a little bit of my carving skills. Uh, it just made more sense than trying to template out something this small. It wouldn't really pull off the effect, I guess. Uh, and it just made sense to do removing material rather than trying to build it up. So, yeah. Make sure you wear a respirator while you do this because the dust that kicks up from this stuff, it, it just goes everywhere. I look like a coal miner coming out of a 12-hour shift. Maybe you'll try and make this weapon yourselves and impress your friends with your bear ceremonial degutting weapon. Okay. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them, much props. It is a weapon. You know it's coming. You, you want to get bit or hit? Let's go with hit. How about a backhand? Ugh! <laughs>